Yes, camera rolling. Uh, what's the date today? It is, I think it's January 24th. Welcome. Yeah, I'm just here. I threw some jugs a couple of days ago, uh, or pictures, and I'm just playing around with them, really. And um, this was the first one I did. I'm just trying to. I didn't. I'll be honest with you. I didn't throw it that well. It was a little heavier down at the base than I wanted it to be. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well, what I'm doing is uh, is to facet the lower section of the uh, of the picture. That's a twofold. It, 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 it's a decorative feature, but it also removes a little bit of clay, you see. So anyway, join me for this. I'm just doing this now. I've got my cheese slicer, which I bought at a, a yard sale over the summer. Um, just testing that one out. So I've already put three. I'm going to... So now I've got the four, so now I'm going to do the ones that are in between. When you do this, it's important to make sure that you get the clay at the right hardness. It doesn't want to be too soft, otherwise you don't get a nice clean cut. It can be a little bit kind of gets messy. If it's too hard as well, you, you know, you know it's too hard because you're trying to ex having to exert too much, too much force you know to, to make it cut so as soon as you it starts to cut you want to just let it go down um, and I aim to come out sort of here you see let's do another one yeah And one more here. All right. So by, are we in the picture? Are we in the picture here, more or less? So, yeah, of course the danger is <laughs> you've mis you miscalculate and you may have a bit of extra thickness down the base here, but as soon as it comes up here, the pot gets thinner, and then you go, you go through, make a hole. Don't want to do that really. So let's turn it the other way up now. So now, actually, this one that I threw, to be honest, the belly was a little bit lower than I, I meant it to be. I wasn't having a very good day, I'll be honest. Um, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, some of these are a little bit higgledy piggledy. So I'm going to just. Put a bevel on the corners there. Yeah, it's like that sometimes, isn't it? You don't always have a good day. Just have a day when you just. The thing is, if you don't have a good day, just realize it will pass. Okay, so don't let it get to you. Yeah, it's a funny little jug, little picture, isn't it? 
I've got some handles actually I've already pulled ready to put on so um, some of these I'm sort of thinking about as I'm going thinking well yeah well that one I'll I won't do anything to this one I will you know yeah, maybe that one will do it again. We'll do the same on that one. Let's hope that it doesn't. Um, let's let's bring the camera in for a bit of detail. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Let's put it in a touch, just sort of something like that. Yeah, have a go at doing fa faceting. It's so. Is make sure this is. The ro it's got like a roller here. Make sure that roller is is clean. So, and then. Dee -dee -dee -dee, actually. Dee -dee 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 yeah. Okay. So, start the cut. <sighs> Okay. Ah, it's gone through. See that? Ah, well. I thought he might. You know, it's a bit of a, a bit of a gamble, you know. Because he's not really specifically thrown for faceting like this. I'm just doing this as a, you know. If I only get, if I can get away with just that one, then I'll do a, a patch. Yeah, it's just that far. Okay, well, we'll just have to, where he's gone through there, I will, I will do a little repair job. That's one thing that clay is, is easy to, to repair, isn't it? So, yes, we'll do a little repair job on him. Probably do it uh, from the inside, actually. I'll use my, my bottleneck tool. Where is the hole? There it is. So, yeah. yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of soft clay for that, aren't I? So I've got myself, myself a little piece of soft clay. And I'm going to get my my sponge stick. Just wet it a little bit. Take my little piece of 
It's going to be like mending a puncher, isn't it? Yeah, a bike puncher. You know. Have you ever mended a puncture on a tyre? Bicycle tyre? I used to do that a lot. Mend a tyre. So I'm going to put my finger opposite where that is. So with my finger against it, on the outside, and I've placed the patch there, and I'm now just smooth with the end of this, my bottleneck tool, I'm just smearing that, you see. Something like that. That's made a, a good join there, actually. And now I'm just going to wipe over it with my sponge. Like that. And then here, what we're going to do, just have a think. Going to I think that's it. Yeah, I'm mending it from the inside, so because the inside, you see, no one's going to really look at too too carefully. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm just just smoothing it with the blade of the knife here. Just all right. So you you know it's. No, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but it's going to be, I'm just going to yeah, push it one way and I push it the other. Now it's sticking out, you see, so I'm going to just, that's it. Okay, he's right. He's, he's ready for a handle now, that guy, and um, I've got some handles, so let me just bring one over. I've got to handle all of these, actually, pulled these, I pulled these handles last night, I, I kept them under kept them under plastic so we're going to put a handle on here so first thing we want to do is as usual prepare the point of attachment which is going to be here sometimes when I'm about to put on a handle I, I eyeball it you know and then I I get the point right opposite and I just make a little nick with my fingernail um, just to uh, centralize myself as it were where the handle is okay I've got to be careful like I think I just put my finger on that place would you believe it come on Simon yeah. got to be careful to think, concentrate, so I don't, don't do that. That's not a good idea. Okay. Right, let's get the handle. So this handle, 
It's actually so you just prepare prepare the end of the handle. I do that usually by using my thumb like that. And just offer up the handle, just make sure you get him dead opposite. A couple of fingers behind like that and just just gentle apply a bit of pressure but not too much and then work the handle with your index finger underneath meanwhile supporting it here with this hand you see and then now just bring that clay across from the handle okay now join there yeah, make sure he's joined all the way around no, no place where he's not joined okay so just dip him in my dip him in my water pot I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna pull the camera back a touch like that okay so dip the handle in the water pot but also dip your hand in okay and now start to Now with this kind of handle is a slightly different shape than ones I sometimes do. This one is a little bit more downward, slightly downward more. Dee, 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 dee. Roll your index finger like I'm doing, you see, like that. If you do it go like that, you see, you take the soft clay of the handle and you you take it towards the the body of the pot by going like that. It's a good little tip. Alright, so now this kind of handle is a little bit A little bit wider, slightly lower here than he is where at the top. It just makes for a nice. So you see, I'm depressing that a little bit down here, but it's wider lower down here. I didn't work at the lower down pottery for nothing, you know. That was my dad's pottery, the lower down pottery. Okay, so now, oops, I think I stuck my finger in that again, dear, dear. Okay, actually I shouldn't be doing this one, should I? I should be doing a different one. So now I'm going to just That. Like that. This little tail. <clears throat> take him off. Yeah. Oh, what I should have done. Uh, in retrospect, of course, one is wiser. What I should have done is, in fact, I did try to do this to, to, where, to get the point of attachment so that the, to get it onto one of the flats here, uh, but I just slightly miscalculated in where I cut the first flat here, first facet, so that the the fishtail ending would have sat squarely in the middle of that. Either that or put it smack on the corner and then it could have gone each way but I I didn't think I didn't think ahead enough did I? Alright so that is that is that and now I need to go back inside there just push that out again
which will probably actually come back to this a little bit later when it's a little bit uh, leather hard because at the moment he's a bit soft and he's you know if I just let, let, let that stiffen off a little bit come back and then I think I'm going to do that instead of fiddling with it right now okay so when you put your handle on make sure that he's straight with the spout okay what you can do is just dip your hand in the water like this and just just go over it like this very lightly and that will just make it a little there he is yeah I quite like I quite like those kind of uh, um, jugs, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I've got to go and do the uh, uh, carry on now. Do the other ones. The other guys here. I've got four more to do. Hey, thanks for joining us, folks. Um, please go to my website. We've got. Um, workshops, workshops, workshops. If anybody's interested in coming on a keep practicing workshop, we can only take five, five or six people, and we cater. The workshops are really for for all levels for beginners. I especially like to help people get going with their with their throwing and um, improve their throwing and their pulling uh, techniques etc. So think about that if there's something that interests you. Uh, go to my website simonhpottery.com you see the dates there. Choose a date call me up on the phone or write to me and ask me if that if you have if we have space on the, the, those dates, the date you're interested in. April is full. April workshop is full. I've still got space in, in March though, about three spaces in the March workshop. And the others are slowly filling up. Okay, thanks for joining me. Keep practicing, that's the secret, that's the key. There's no secret. <laughs> There's no secret to this, it's just do it and keep practicing and you will get better at it, you will improve, all right? So, with that said, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.